when we're having a hard day and um, an emotion might come up, right? It might be fear, angst, frustration. Um, talk to that emotion. Ask you, ask your emotion, ask it what it's trying to tell you, what it's trying to teach you. We're not taught to talk to our emotions. We're taught to push our emotions down and to not cry and everything's going to be okay and it's not that big of a deal and just like suck it up, push it down, right? But as I've gotten older, I realize it's so important to feel all of the feels and not numb the feels. In fact, yesterday I was walking around um, with some people from my team um, to go look at Halloween direct uh, Halloween decorations in my neighborhood. and. Um, first of all, my neighborhood has the most amazing Halloween decorations I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, but there's a house that they did inside out too. And they had all of the different emotions. And if you haven't seen Inside Out 2, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I watched it on the airplane the other day on the way to California and then on the way back. On the way there, I was kind of watching the movie and multitasking. Thankfully, I should say, yeah, thankfully, Delta Air Airlines has a lot of Wi-Fi in their airplanes. And so I was like working and simultaneously watching the video, but then, or the movie, but then on my way back, I was like, I'm going to watch the movie uninterrupted. And so I highly recommend watching Inside Out 2, but there is a house that decorated their house, like the Inside Out 2 house. And there was like a big sign that said like, it's okay to feel all the feels. And then it also had like a QR code that you can scan to reach out to someone if you feel overwhelmed or, you know, need support with mental health and all the things, which I thought was so beautiful. But talking to that emotion and asking it what it's trying to teach you. Now, I have um, had panic attacks in my life and I used to have a lot of them. And I used to numb through a lot of them. Um, and it's been a while since I've had one, probably over a year. But I had one recently, like a few weeks ago. And it was really intense. I could tell I was just super stressed. Um, my jaw was like trembling. My hands were shaking. It was a really intense panic attack, actually. Um, but yeah, you know, we all go through the things and... I think what I'm most grateful for is that I know that I don't have them as often as I used to. Meditation has helped me so much through that. Um, but in the middle of this panic attack, you know, being able to talk to that emotion and ask what it's trying to teach me. And I know this episode is about hard days, not panic attacks, but I think this is a specific moment that I can recall in my recent life where I had, you know, this overwhelming emotion and I was like, you know, what are you trying to teach me? And in the middle of my jaw chattering and just, um, yeah, it was like, it's, you know, it's trying to tell me that it's okay to not be perfect. It's trying to tell me that it's okay to not have everything under control. It's trying to tell me that like nobody is, it's not a big, it's not as big of a reflection on me as I am making it out to be, right? Sometimes when things don't go systemized and organized in my life. Remember, I am the director of a company. I run multiple businesses. Systems and processes are very important to me. And sometimes I feel like when the systems and processes are not followed, it's a reflection on me. That's the the feeling that I know comes up, right? That's the the shadow in me that comes up. And so I just talked to it and I was like, it's trying to tell me that it's okay. Like no one's perfect. And yeah, just talking to that emotion. And then I was talking to myself and saying like, it's okay. You're doing such a great job, London. You are pushing through. You're helping so many people. You're just, yeah, hyping myself up, talking to that emotion, figuring out what it's trying to teach you. And then, you know, talk to yourself the way that you know you need to be talked to, right? Oftentimes we can be our own worst critic and be our own worst enemy and our self-talk can just be like, well, you should have got that done and that's your fault for, you know, not having that in order. 